get a little loud here is this is a, a sprocket or a, a gear I'm cutting down. So when I get into the gear teeth, it's going to... Another five thou, so to 25, we turn that, then we turn on the motor again. Oh, wait a minute. Shoot, I forgot to back the cutter up. Okay, so that was, uh, I think we were at 25 on the dial. Yeah, so we're gonna back off. Gotta reset the tool and then move it in. So we're in that, we're in the void there. So now I'll go back to 25 here. So there's zero, 10, and 20, and five. Okay, now we're ready to start our cut. So turn on the lathe. No, we're not engaging. We're doing manual, but I don't have an automatic feed for cross cut, so. It's the human that makes the motor. Red chips happen, that's me turning the feed just a little fast. And that was the gear T. And now you'll see the pile of shards there. Lift that out of there. It's funny how tiny this is compared to the machine work I do at Samoa. So now we're gonna just sneaking up on our cut here. I gotta get it lined up on a tooth. There we are. And press. And now, hmm. All right, I'm gonna move that. It's hard to get the reading here with the camera on. Let's see. Uh, give you a view and me right there. And yeah. Boy, get a little bit different reading each time. All right. It's because I'm only taking five thou. So we back the cutter there. Now we're going to go to 30 here. there. We'll turn her on. And, uh, So it's 35 now, cutter's moved in, 
So now we're gonna engage the and go ahead and And I'm gonna keep doing this over and over, so I'm gonna sign out now.